Hey, it's Joseph here. I wanted to do a short video today because I have few interesting boxes to open. So after the intro, let's unbox them and set them up. So here are two boxes and it is for Windows Mixed Reality from HP. So one is the headset and the other one is the controller. Let's open them. Okay, let me just put this down for now. So here is the headset and let me open that one up. So it's in a bag like this. So I guess that's a headset. Put that aside and let's see the inside of the box. So here are the cables. So I guess the cables are detachable. I did fair amount of research and this is actually one of the reason why I purchased this because you can detach the cables. So put that aside. So a bunch of papers. So the headset. So it comes with this short cable which looks like sort of a proprietary cable which you connect the, the other bit into. The headset has just general black design I actually prefer this because the Dell one that I tried on has sort of a weird look to it. So it has this sort of a plastic. Okay, so it looks like it's got 1440. All the mixed reality headsets has 1440 or more resolution for Samsung. So it's just the marketing there, but it looks pretty cool. So that's all right. So you can, you can wear the headset and you can open up which is another thing that I wanted to have opposed to the Samsung Odyssey version where you cannot flip up. And another thing is that this is a PU leather kind on the front and the back. So in case you sweat, you can just kind of wipe that off. You can just widen this headband by unscrewing this up and then put it over your head. I speak as if I know this headset so well because I've done a fair amount of research, but I've actually never seen it in front of my eyes. So this is actually a first time. So here is a foam that goes against to your face. I plan on replacing this. I believe this is removable. So this is a Velcro there for you to remove. I do want to replace to something that I can just easily wipe down or, or put a disposable cover on it so many people can use it at the same time. I have seen one design from VR cover so I'm going to investigate in that. Let me see this headband, if whether that's removable. It doesn't seem removable here, which is not a problem because I can probably just wipe it down rather than removing it entirely. So that's all right. And the lenses have these cover on it. So I'm just gonna remove that as well. So there's a flip design which prevents light leakage and there's a notch. So that's pretty much it for the headset. As far as what I can see from outside, there is a headphone jack which you can connect for the audio. So let me just put this back and open up the controllers. So here's a controller box. It's kind of strange that they ship out two different boxes for the entire set. I would put it in a big box where it contains everything so you can at least carry around or something. But here it is. There you go, took a while. So here are the two controllers, which is wrapped in plastic. So this is pretty much standard design at this point, except the Samsung one. So I knew kind of what it looked like. One thing I do notice is that there is a little L written here. I guess that's to help out which hand it is. Actually, that's a nice touch because last time when I had the Dell version, I couldn't really figure out immediately. So I actually had labeled on here to note to myself, this is a left hand because sometimes if you're handing this over to someone who's never used it, kind of figuring this out is not as easy actually. Other than that, it's pretty much exactly the same. It comes with the strap and some sort of barcode here. The other one, which is pretty much the same, except it says R and it's the other side. It has a little plastic here as well. So I'm just going to remove that. And I guess it was the same on the other side. So other than the plastic wraps, there isn't much here. I guess here are the batteries. Should have double A size. Here it is. So I'll use those. I do want to keep these boxes because I might have to use these box to carry it because the controllers are quite flimsy and I still haven't figured a way to nicely carry them other than making some special case for it. So 
we'll see what happens but um, so far this is all I have for in terms of carrying the controllers so about this two boxes it's strange that they have two different boxes for the entire headset um, I suppose you ship out just the headset if you don't buy the controllers I think there's a version of that and that's why they keep it this way but I've seen Amazon comment where people are receiving only one box because the Amazon missed out the other box that they're supposed to send so they only received one box and they were missing the controllers so it's a bit strange that they sort of package it this way but in my case I received both of them so that's no problem so here are the controllers and the batteries, a generic brand battery. I'm not really trusting this, but I'll put them in anyways. Okay, so with the back cover open like this, so you slide it open, you put the batteries in. All right, and to turn it on, you just hold this button here and it should vibrate and turn on like that. So moving on to the other side, so both of the controllers are on. They look exactly the same with the Dell one, which I tried before. They are Bluetooth. Let me just connect the cables onto the headset first. Here's a cable. And the cables have these plastic protectors. Nice touch. And just connect that there. Kind of looks like a mini, or not mini, but a smaller version of display port, kind of. So you can't really rotate it the other way. Only one way would work. Snappy sound, that's good. And I suppose that is connected now. I just need to connect the other end to the computer to see if it works. So as soon as I have connected the Mixed Reality headset, this showed up. Welcome to Windows Mixed Reality, get started, I agree. And then it's just gonna check if your computer is compatible for this specific headset next and it's just gonna show you a picture of the headset that you just connected so in this case will be the HP next kind of show you what it is and next and then the headset will need to go through the setup process so in that first you need to turn it on as you, it says on the screen so hold that button there and it'll just come on Below the battery, um, there's a little button that which you just hold. As you hold that down, message will pop up. Let Mixed Reality Portal pair, yes. And then the other side as well. Hold that button down and then yes. So those should be paired and connected. Next, the seated and standing is completely fine for you to sit here and experience and it is actually less steps to set it up. So. I usually use this mode to set it up, so I'm just gonna click on that. Yes, of course, I am sure. And then just hold this up and then center that, center. Speech for mixed reality is a bit iffy in my opinion, so maybe later. So hang tight while we finish up some downloading. I believe it is trying to download the Cliff House, which is the Windows Mixed Reality lobby kind of thing. Let's wait a bit and I'm just gonna come back once it sort of finishes up. Okay, so it seems like it's finished and it says ready on the screen and that's what I see now. And you can just confirm that by left controller, right controller. And there's gonna be a little bit of setup process inside a headset, so let me just wear it. Um, the best way that I found to wear this is that loosen this up and then open it like that. And then just put it against your face like so. Try and find the right spot for everything being focused. And then once you do that, you just kind of lower the headband and then just fix on that position and let go of your hand. And that should be good enough to get everything in focus. For you to see what I see on the screen, there's a little play button. If I just click on that, you should be able to see on the screen what I see in the headset. So once you do that, um, you can see adjust your headset. You should be hearing some audio now in the floor. Box off, blah, 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 all good. And my controllers are here, so I'm just gonna pick them up and then just point them and there you go. So here is a brief tutorial that you can kind of go through. So I'm just gonna teleport there quick and then just shoot all of these diamonds. I wonder if there is a way to skip this. I'm just gonna skip them as quick as I can. 
and then click on the Windows button and I'm just moving on. So you do this once and usually you don't have to do it again unless you change the setup entirely. So everything now is here and everything seems good. So pause that there. So the next step that I want to do is make sure Enscape and SketchUp is also working. In order to do that, you actually have to install Steam as well. So Steam, I just downloaded the installer. We can just kind of go through that process. So once that finishes, you have to log in. And here, I can just go to the store itself. Reality. And if I search that, the first thing will show up and you can just go down here, use now. I agree, yes. So basically this is allowing different applications to go through Steam to use Mixed Reality Headset, which in this case, the Enscape does go through Steam to use Mixed Reality Headset. Once that is installed, I can actually close that out and Mixed Reality Portal as well, shut down and I can delete that. And let me just launch normal SketchUp model that I have been using for these VR experiences. And of course, you're gonna have to make sure your Enscape is installed. So in my case, yes it is. So I enable that and start Enscape. So let me just put that onto one side and you should be able to just kind of navigate through as you usually do. So there's nothing special there. However, one step that I did forget is to download Steam VR as well. And now it is updating. Okay, so that seems done. Let me just confirm that it works. So when I turn on Steam VR, it really should pop up these sort of dialogues. So I'm just gonna close it for now. And then make sure these are turned on. And I'm in Enscape, just normal mode. Now, if I just go here in VR headset, if I just turn that on, Mixed Reality will come up and then the Steam VR will come up and then recognize all the controllers. And notice how it just changes my view there. So basically I will be seeing this in my headset. So let me just minimize that as well. So what you see on my screen will be what you will be seeing on the headset. So if I wear that, so there it is. And I can grab the controllers and this is left, this is right. I can just go down here. And as I click, there's a little bit of haptic feedback from my right hand where as soon as I hit the trigger button, it just responds by vibration a little bit. So I'm still able to just move around like this. And let me just make sure which mode I am in. So I am in room scale mode. Now I'm in a seated mode. And let me just stay in fly mode. So the difference between the seated and the room scale is if I'm in a seated mode, even if I'm seating, um, it still recognize all the sort of the eye height. So I'm in relatively to the eye level of other people. Whereas if I were to stay in room scale, it puts me to a position where I am relatively the relative height of my headset to the floor. Therefore, everyone is sort of taller than me. So I'd rather go into seated mode and stay there. And notice how I am relative to other people's eye level, even though I'm sitting. So I can just move around like this. So that was the unboxing of Mixed Reality headset, as well as how to set it up for your computer and get Enscape going for your machine. I'm sure it applies the same way to different applications, but uh, for me, Enscape was going to be my priority. So I have shown you how to set up for Enscape specifically, and I think that's it for today. If you have enjoyed watching this content, please like the video and subscribe to the channel if you want to continue watching this type of videos, and I will see you next time. Thank you.